Hello, Serge here from the Backyard Driving Range. We have a question that came in on a blog, and it's from Mort. Mort says, been a back sufferer for years. Not bad, the last five years, I'm 84. I find that I must stand with the wider stance now to get some distance and move the ball more towards the middle of my stance. Make any sense? Okay, uh, I bring this up again because I'm really impressed and, I, I've, and happy that, that Mort's still playing good golf at 84 years old and, and still enthusiastic about wanting to improve and, uh, and you know, hit the ball better and shoot those lower scores. And so I brought this up. Now, this subject is one that comes up quite a bit and, and uh, about the point of width of stance. And he went here and said that he was wider. Now again, uh, maybe wider could be just about have been what he should be using the surge swing where we want this to feed about shoulder width uh, for for a driver, whereas most cases people have been taught that that's about what it should be for a five iron. I've seen many golfers actually playing too narrow a stance, and I think sometimes that happens when we talk about the surge swing uh, needing a stance from uh, about shoulder width, the widest with a, with a driver, that, that they get a little too narrow with the shorter clubs, and if you're too narrow, you're going to have a problem with balance. Taking a backswing, your feet could fall, you could go outside your back foot and fall down, or especially you'd have a problem with falling forward. And so, in many cases, when they say, I go wide, if they were narrower to begin with, and then, and then narrower than what we would want in the surge setup, then, then they get a little bit wider, which is, which is about what it should be, they would start hitting the ball much better because A, they would be in better dynamic balance to start with, and and, uh, and, and B, they would have a uh, better dynamic balance throughout the swing and get to a better finish. So I think that, that's a big critical issue. So I can't just blatantly come out and say wider is wrong. Wider than the correct amount is, would be wrong. And, and Dr. Armstrong, the orthopedic surgeon I studied with, says that one of the worst things for, your, for uh, giving you lower back pain and, and, hurting, and, and hurting your knees is too wide a stance. And that would be, this is about the way to check. Club from underneath your armpit straight down for the right foot. We play every shot from there. And with a wedge, I'm about here, which will be over the inside of the foot. With a driver, it, straight down from the, the left armpit will be no more than an inch or two wider than, than, the, than the back of the heel. We measure distance or uh, width of stance by the heels. So if that's about what you have, then, you, then you're fine. If you were narrower than that and now you what I just described, then you're okay. But if you're out here like this, and, and in both cases, the club is, is way inches, you know, two or three or four inches on each side, you're way too wide. If you're seeing your, arm, your legs are getting, looking like a triangle, a pyramid, versus looking like a building, you're getting too wide. And that's going to put extreme stress on you. So just look down at your legs. You want to be in a surge swing with the narrow feet, wide knees, outward pressure. You want to have your ankles, knees, and hips pretty close to in line up somewhere to your shoulders. So they look like a building, not a, not a triangle or a pyramid. So if you have, if you have the the pyramid look, the triangle look, and especially if you got the, the back knee pressed inward, or both knees pressed inward, then you know you're in trouble. That's too wide. You look down and you kind of see that you look like a building straight up and down, you're in pretty good shape. And that'll be the best swing you can make because the wide knees, the, the wide legs start really causing a problem of reverse tilting to reverse weight shifting, and, and that puts stress on the knees and the back and can go all the way up to even hurting your neck. So we want to get into that, that narrow stance with the Feet flared, if you got bad forward leg, forward knees, flare the foot a little bit more. And then, and then just from there, you get that preloaded heavy right, and you can just swing back, you're loaded, and just push off and forward into your, your finish. And again, a good, a, a good thing to, to determine if you've got a correct stance would be, can you finish in, in, in a T finish and be in dynamic balance and actually hold that finish for a while? Many times if, if your stance are way too wide, you're going to get here and you're falling back and you've got to go forward. You should be able to get from the, your back foot at the top of the backswing to right on the forward foot and hold the finish. And if you can hold that finish and you're finishing basically in line and then recall and relax at the target, I think you can pretty much assume that your stances are pretty much the right, the correct width. But you want to look like a building, not a pyramid. You look like that building effect, you should be in dynamic balance and be able to make good swings and, and with almost no stress at all on your body and especially your back. That's it for the search for today and I'll be talking to you all again soon.